I think I might have gotten myself in trouble this time uh, when I was talking about the redheads. Uh, yeah, the redheads. Mm. Don't you wish sometimes uh, you could just... sometimes that you could stop time or go back in time and say things the way you meant them not the way you actually said them I think I didn't make myself very clear last time when I was talking about the reason why I used uh, red for the hair of uh, one of the girls in my painting yeah I kind of screw up Today's painting is about the inner critic and humility. Well, first of all, I have nothing against uh, redheads. Do I? <laughs> and I will prove it to you later, but later. Oh, excuse me. Too much chicken wings today. Somebody told me, Val, you are like a pig. You eat so much. And I say, yeah, I know. But I've been told that I eat like a horse. So, yeah. But I'm trying to get into shape. I actually believe that colors can carry different meanings and associations. Red in particular is a color that can have many, many, many and sometimes conflictive meanings. Red, after all, is a color of love and a color of blood. It is a color of romance and color of violence. And what brings out uh, one meaning over another is just uh, context. In the particular context of my last painting, red hopefully gave you an impression of a somewhat aggressive person, perhaps a little angry, with angry management problems. But don't you worry, because I know karate. I don't know karate, I know taekwondo. A little bit, because I used to practice. Do you want me to show you? I think the basic position on that and then <laughs> and it was <laughs> Oh, I just missed it. Ouch. I think I just pulled something. Oh. And what brings out <laughs> Oh my god There goes my other lamp. Out of the five I had, I had only four because one I broke and now I have three. I'm trying to fix my light. Meanwhile, let me tell you that my chair got broken and that uh, I fix it because I'm a handy girl, I think I am, but then it turns out I'm not because I tried to fix my chair and I put crazy glue and stuff and duct tape and I I tried to use it and I fell right like this. Why are you making noises? Talking to my lamp. But I never meant to generalize that all red hairs are like that. That would be pretty funny considering that I used to dye my hair a lot in red. Um, yeah, many times. And I even had this magenta shade like a couple times. Once purple, but that was not good. Guys, I feel like they were afraid of me. Like I was a vampire. And you know what? Maybe it's time to do it again. Not the purple hair, but the, maybe the reddish hair. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go and get me some makeover. Well, I'm back and I hope you like uh, my makeover and... Hey, what did you say? Of course not. I'll be right back. I will show you the real one. Well, here. I have this proofs that I have nothing but nothing against redheads and... And now that everything is clear, we can move on. What did you say? I don't know if you see it, but it's supposed to be red. And yeah, I love redhead. Actually, uh, this makeover was inspired by my friend Love Tiki from YouTube. So we'll see what you think, since you're real redheads and I'm a fake one, so I don't know if I'm bad. So I was told that redheads can eat more sugar, so... Oh, and stomach cake. You know, something really funny happened last week. Um, 
After working on the last uh, episode, I started to see myself as a critic in my painting. True story. The truth is that I'm often really harsh with myself and pretty often I... I'm not happy with the results. I wish I could take my own advice from last week and at least give myself constructive criticism, but that doesn't really happen either. Sometimes when my emotions take over, I can be a little harsh and irrational. My inner critic, I think, was out of control for a very long time and I'm just getting a hold of it. For many years I used to paint, uh, I used to do a painting and after the painting was finished, I will come to the conclusion that the painting wasn't good, that good, so that I shouldn't waste a canvas on that painting, so I would paint over it so I can reuse that, that canvas again. Yeah, and I did that for, you guys have no idea, many, 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 many times. I cannot even remember how, how many canvases I recycled, and I'm pretty upset about it. But I, I actually noticed that what happens is that when I remember those paintings that I deleted, actually I like them, but they're gone. Today's painting combines uh, the two girls from last week uh, painting into one face. You see the blonde on the left and the redhead critic on the right. Uh, it might seem a very simple painting, but for me it really summarizes the recent themes that I have been working on thematically and emotionally. The duality and, and, and fight between the rational and emotional from, from the split personality episode, the not too so constructive criticism from uh, Charlotte Sweetie and even the elements from tackling emotions are present here as well. Also, uh, the tone skin is different, and there is a point where you don't see that you see the difference. But down the chin, close to the mouth, uh, there is not much difference. I mean, there is a difference, but you don't see like a strict line, you know, where it blends in. It just kind of is there, you know, the, the the conversion from one color to another. I just wanted to symbolize how how sometimes. Um, it is hard to draw the line to see what's what's a good criticism from a wrong, from a harsh, or a not constructive criticism. One more little note. Um, I told you last week how I was uh, criticized when I was a student for using student brands in my paintings. I still believe that the brand you use doesn't matter when it comes to showing uh, your painting skills and talents, but it does unfortunately have an impact on how long the painting will per will perceive its vibrant colors and 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 other uh, aspects so i do invest i do believe that investing in, in good quality things is good if you can and you know and i'm selling paintings so i'm trying to invest as much as possible in good canvases good brushes you know some things that i think are better but because i can not because that affects how my work looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next week. Eat your cookies. Hmm.